Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to share with you a makeup look right here. So that's not a look, it's the look. Like, how often do I even change? My makeup routine does not change that much, but I have a few things that I've added into the repertoire. Oh, oh, oh. oh and if you're new here, hey girl, hey, welcome to the tribe. But you're not an official tribe member unless you hit subscribe. So you gotta hit subscribe to join the tribe. Okay, okay. And my notification gang, where you at? Cause I know y'all be turning on the notifications. So you know when I upload a video. Okay, so today I'm gonna share with you guys my go-to makeup routine. I like to keep it on the natural-ish side. I like a beat, but not too much of a beat. You know, so I like to look kinda like myself still, even without makeup. Although I do obviously look different. Who are you? But you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna share with you guys kind of my quick go-tos for beating my face. All right, let's go. So these days, I'm definitely using um, the Fenty Beauty Primer. Get that joint on there. I, you guys, look at my skin. You see this? Mm-hmm. I, I, I have had not a cute situation right now with um, experiencing some adult acne is what I call it. It's getting a bit better right now. I mean, I feel like my issue is that my hormones are out of whack and I need to work on that. So to make matters worse, I waxed my upper lip the other day. Why did I cut myself with the wax? Look, I have all these little cuts now across my upper lip like I needed anything to get worse. I don't even know what to tell you to, to be leery of because I don't know what I did wrong. Because I, I've been primed, my makeup routine is not structured and perfect. Like I will tell you guys that right now, okay? Like I just go with the flow, roll with the punches. You know what I'm saying? Then I go on to my brows most days. Right now I'm using this Ardell lash thing stick in dark brown. It's essentially a brow whiz, I guess you could say. So my eyebrows actually need doing badly right now, but you know, a nigga trying to get some thick, thicker brows in life. So I haven't gotten to do them. I just like to outline from the middle outward. And then fill in and kind of feather it out. I think the only thing when it comes to like makeup for me that I like to be kind of dramatic is probably the lashes. But other than that, I'm like, I like when things look semi-natural. Oh, after that, let my brows chill in life. And lately now, I've been using the cacao stick from Fenty Beauty. Because before I was like correcting everything first, but with this, I'm just like, mm, 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 mm. flaws, where you at? <laughs> Coming for ya. Now, I feel like in the winter, because like my color is kind of transitioning now, I might be this color. And then I looked at the screen and said, girl, you ain't never this color. <laughs> no, it looks crazy, but yeah. So basically I use this as like almost my foundation. I use the, my foundation brush, which is kind of like a blush brush. And I blend this out. And it has such good coverage. that people don't have to know about my adult acne. <gasps> Girl, you're scared, I know, right? <laughs> okay, so you see that? When I kind of blend it out, y'all, it's not that far from my skin color. Then I go in with suede, and I'm highlighting underneath the eye area. What I like about this, y'all, is these sticks make your life convenient and easy. If you like to travel a lot or you just wanna keep all your stuff kind of in one place, like just the fact that they click together for me is like, has made things so easy. Like you could just grab and go. And the fact that that cacao stick, cacao, it depends who and how you believe it should be pronounced, but cocoa, cacao. So you suede to highlight. 
under my eyes, down my nose a little bit. And it's funny, I don't actually like to do too much on my forehead. Like, I don't actually put the makeup on my forehead. I kind of take whatever's left on my brush. Just because I feel like... I don't know. I just don't like too much of a super dramatic highlight. You know what I'm saying? I can't be the only one. <gasps> so my forehead kind of gets the last part of it. Just, just the residue from the brush. Then I take this espresso. Give myself a little. Just a little life in that area. And I use this brush that has, I don't know, it's it's just what I like to use for this. It's not really like a meant for this kind of brush. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I feel like I'm applying product really heavy right now because I'm filming. Why, why, did, why am I doing that? Filming a makeup video and trying to do it, it's just, y'all, y'all, it's frustrating. Like, why? Why am I applying so much product? I'm gonna take this brush, leftover product, run it down my nosey. I don't like to, I'm not like fully snatching my nose, I'm just giving myself a nose bridge at all. Cause uh, your girl ain't got one. I'm gonna blend, 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 blend. So, when this came out a while back, the only color that was pretty much left was 450. So that's the color foundation that I've been using. But recently, I got to try 420 and I was like, oh, I'm kinda more that color. But guess what? <laughs> it's okay. So I take the 450 and I apply this over here. I'm kind of blend it out. But mostly it's around that mouth area. How am I looking? Am I blended yet? Am I fine? Am I fine? <laughs> then I go under my eyes, the Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Bronze Gold. And that is what I, I don't even like, on most days I don't bake. I. I just wanna like make it as quick as possible. You know what I mean? Sometimes I put a little bit just over my baby hairs so that they're not so shiny sometimes from product, you know? Then I go back to my eyebrow area and I still love a LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, what color do I use? Fawn. And this tries to help me with my lack of self-care in terms of getting my eyebrows done. And I fake the funk. All right, how we looking? Where we at now? Then I use um, Makeup Forever Pro Finish Pressed Powder. What's my color name? In 177. And I use this right in this area here because I be getting greasy. This creasing area needs the pressed powder. Like I never used to use a pressed powder for the longest time. Don't know what I was thinking. Makes everything look so much smoother and so much fresher. But anyways, I've been doing this now for a while and it helps me look way cuter. Okay, now that I've got a nose bridge, um, my eyebrows are okay. It's time to move on to les yeux. Qu'est-ce que c'est les yeux? Qui parle en français là-bas? Qui parle en français? On parle en français! <laughs> I love a gold shimmer, so I just use different ones on my lid. I used to use um, the Sephora gold shimmer and like brunch or something was called. But now I've been using rum because it's even easier. Like I just grab this bad boy out, hold my lid down, and I literally just cover that joint up. And then you see this espresso? I'm going to use a little brush. And in my creases, I hit that with a little... Espresso. Then this Kilowatt highlighter. I take Hustler Baby. And I put that right under my eyebrow. I think what I do like about this line though is that like because everything's meant to just be like use it wherever you want and I'm already that kind of person, it just felt like a right 
felt like the right fit. Like, oh, yay, use it wherever you want, yay, because <laughs> I already do that, you know? So for me, this is a process that I really don't want to be filming right now because it's always uneven, always. Okay, okay. <laughs> Whatever mistakes I've made, truth be told, lashes will cover it up. So right now I'm using these Kiss KB106 Buttes. They are buttes. And then after I apply, apply blah, 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 my lashes, I always have to go over them again with some more eyeliner to fill in all the spots that I probably made some kind of mistake on. And then I go on with mascara, more pure mascara. Um, this is the Triple Threat. <laughs> Does it all. And put that underneath. Right now, this is my favorite mascara. What's your favorite mascara? Please, comment below. What I like about this is it's really thin and it just does a great job for what I use it for, which is hitting up my lashes underneath my lashes. And I, uh, I can't talk at the same time. So another Black Radiance product I've been killing is this blush in, it's called Warm Berry. This joint right here has been a good friend of mine. Last, there are two highlighters that I quite enjoy. One is, this one's also by Black Radiance and it's um, called Flawless. <laughs> this one's really warm and like pretty. It's like perfect for daytime use, I feel because it's got that like beautiful brown undertone with it. And I feel like it's never, like it's, it doesn't have that sharpness. Like you know some highlighters are crazy sharp. Like you feel like you're getting such a harsh line of demarcation whenever you put it on. But this is like the black girl bronzer I feel like because it's just got such a pretty warm tone. Like it's so pretty. And like I said, it's just hard to like, it, I don't feel like it's possible for this bronzer to look chalky. Like, it's not. Impossible. So I feel like with this, I can like layer it up. Layer it up. As much as I want. Then I'm gonna take a little kilowatt and put on the tip of my nose. Cause I even find even with this, it's pretty, but it's cool. Like it's, it's a bit cooler than the, um, the Black Radiance bronzer. So I like to put this on top of that one and just like holla at my nose tip because it's my favorite part to highlight because it's just like cute, you know? It's like, oh, oh, oh. So hustler baby. I'm a hustler baby. And I just put that on top to kind of give me the last touch. This joint is powerful. So for my lips, I almost always line with something really deep and dark. So right now I'm gonna be using, this is, um, what's this one called? Chianti by Palladio. This one's from Sally Beauty. I'm one of those people that, you know when you really like something, you feel like, you feel like it just goes with everything? That's how I feel about wine, deep, deep wine colors to line my lips. Like, oh, I forgot. So I've actually been using this um, Baby Lips Crayon thing by like by Maybelline. What color is this? It's bright as hell. It's like a bright pink. And I actually put it on as like my lip gloss base. And then, I, and then I line my lips. So I actually usually put that on first. And I have like no cube exposed, so I be, I be fronting. So either I will go in and just cover my whole lip with like a lip liner like this on top of that pink color that I have there, or I like to go in with a nudish kind of pink tone. 
The reason I do this is because my lips are not that shaped, so I need something to give me a little, yeah, little shape. So there's this option when I'm going for a pinkish color, which you guys have seen me wear a million times in videos. Or sometimes if I'm not feeling that and I want to do more of a red, I love this ColourPop Red in Creeper. So this one always goes on really shiny. It doesn't dry that way though, but it takes a little bit of time to actually dry. All right, y'all. So this is my finished go-to makeup look. Obviously, I switched my lip. Three sort of staple lips that I alternate between. All right, guys, that is all for today. Thank you for hanging out and kicking it with your girl. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't, know. don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those post notifications, guys, so that you know when I upload a video. I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. No sleep. But that she don't drink to set the sheet rolling. Hope I don't think that just that we smoke that I'm gonna hit. I'm like, but you think's a thing.